Have you heard of time crystals? I first heard of them from Doctor Who TV series. However, real time crystals do exist. And now there are photonic time crystals, time crystals which are made of light, which is even more bizarre. Let me explain. Ordinary crystals, like diamonds, have their atoms arranged in a repeating pattern in space. A diamond consists of carbon atoms, which are repeating themselves in three dimensions in space. But time crystals repeating themselves in time. Basically, those are particles which are in the constant motion. Like a clock, which runs forever. And what's really weird, it runs without any batteries. In 2012, Frank Velchek first time came up with a theory of a new matter. He had an idea of a material which, instead of repeating itself in space, repeats in time. The idea is that an object can change and then revert back to its previous state, like it sort of has a memory. And this is happening indefinitely. It's sort of an oscillation with no energy input. That's why scientists first say that this is not possible, because it seems to violate the first and the second law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created from nothing and disappear into nothing, and that the entropy is constantly increasing and the universe in general moves towards chaos. <laughs> Following these laws, we cannot have something which oscillates forever without no energy input. That's the mysterious part about time crystals. And then they've simulated time crystal using a computer. You can imagine a time crystal like a row of particles with spins which are flipping up and down. It was found that when you tickle a chain of spins with a laser beam, Periodically, these spins will be moving between these two states forever, absorbing no energy from the laser, a part of this initial stimul. What's so weird about this, you get never-ending change for no energy, and also it's not disappearing into chaos. It shouldn't be possible, but it exists. An interesting thing, in quantum computers we can create a time crystal and simulate it at the same time. About a year ago, physicists used Google quantum computer to make a time crystal. Just like Richard Feynman wrote in paper in 1982, we will use quantum computers to simulate physics. And that's already happening. The researchers from Google and Stanford built a new face of matter inside quantum computer. Basically, they made the time crystal out of qubits and Google's quantum computer based on so-called superconducting qubits. To simulate time crystals, researchers used 20 of such qubits. They gave the spins initial configuration, such as up, down, down, up, and so on. Then they were simulating qubits with microwaves, flipping spins to the opposite side. They've performed this experiment thousand times and each time measuring the states of the qubits. In this experiment, they've proven that qubits were flipping back and forth between two states. And what is so weird, qubits never absorbed any energy from the laser and didn't dissipate any heat. Before I dive deeper into how photonic time crystals work, a quick message. Just like light in time crystals, I travel a lot. And the one thing which really helps me while traveling is Surfshark VPN, which is kindly sponsoring this video. There are situations where I really appreciate having a VPN. When I'm traveling, I always use Hotels Wi-Fi. It's a public access with no security controls, so anyone in the hotel or nearby can access it and monitor the traffic. That's a threat to my personal information and my data. That's why I'm using Surfshark VPN. They encrypt all the information sent between my devices and the internet, and that's nice. You can use Surfshark on unlimited number of devices, on your phone, laptop, and iPad, so you can be protected on all your devices. Another cool feature of Surfshark VPN is that it changes your device location by swapping the IP address. So you can access different Netflix libraries independent where you are. 
Go to surfshark.gl slash Anastasia to get exclusive Surfshark deal and three extra months free to the subscription with my code Anastasia. So there is 30 days money back guarantee, so there is no risk in trying Surfshark. Check out the link in the description below. And thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Back to time crystals. Now there are photonic time crystals. It means photons are arranged in a pattern that repeats over time. New photonic time crystal is described in this paper, which was published some weeks ago. Basically, the researchers from Finland, Germany and Stanford engineered a photonic time crystal in the lab using metamaterials. Metamaterial means material which does not exist in nature. Basically, they are engineering such materials in the lab to have certain properties, such as ability to blend light in a particular way. They use light pulses to create a repetitive motion pattern. This is similar to what we discussed before, when quantum bits remain in a coherent state. Time crystals is something which is very structured and it has variation over time. In the photonic time crystals, reflectivity changes over time. If you apply a signal coherent to this reflectivity, it will amplify the signal. Let's put it simple. Just imagine, this is a mirror. Light comes to the mirror and reflects back. So now, what is the intensity of the reflected light? It is the same, it doesn't change. But if I have reflectivity which changes over time and I select a wavelength which goes coherently with the change of the reflectivity, it will amplify the light. Another way you can imagine it, like two waves, we know if there are two waves which are in the same phase, it will be amplified. But the coolest thing here is that they can make it passive with these photonic time crystals, and this is, opens a lot of potential applications. When a light enters a photonic time crystal and device changes its optical properties, the signal keeps moving forward in space, and then it flips back and is getting reversed. Just imagine, it's like sound which is being played backwards. It's crazy. So I read this paper and a bunch of other papers on time crystals. And what's weird, they don't explain in details why it works. And they don't describe how particularly it works. They just say it oscillates. Still, I find this topic super interesting because of the weird nature of time crystals and because there are many potential applications. For example, these new photonic time crystals can be used in photonic computing to implement super efficient computing with light. Or maybe because it can remember its state, it can be used as a memory for photonic quantum computers. Another application they mention in the paper is wireless communication, like for future 6G. These new metamaterials can be used to enhance communication range and also speed. They've actually demonstrated in the paper that the same principles which apply to light in photonic time crystals can be applied to electromagnetic waves for wireless communication to amplify signals more efficiently. In principle, with these materials you can build an antenna which has much higher gain. This will make sending information wirelessly more efficient. There are other applications, like in the next generation of sensors. With time crystals, we could simplify laser design by removing the bulky mirrors, which is usually used to amplify the light. We could exchange it with time crystals. Right now, time crystals are still in the research phase, and making one takes a quantum computer or especially engineered in the lab metamaterials. But I think definitely this paper, this discovery is very exciting and a part of this there are many other groups of researchers working on it all around the world. Let me know what you think about photonic time crystals and its potential in the comments below. I would be excited to read. I always read your comments. I think time crystals together with quantum computers may one day change the world. Want to say something? <laughs>